Hi, this is Val Vanderhoor with Veritas Homes. And I'm Liz Min. We are just under, we can still say good morning. Yeah. <laughs> We're a little late this morning, sorry. We had exciting stuff. We did. So we had a kind of wonderful An architecture morning. field trip this yeah. morning that was super cool. Wonderful. Where we discovered that we were wearing the same <laughs> sweater. <laughs> so, uh, we're twins today. What can I say? You have yeah. good taste. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. Okay. Let's so, talk about it. Jumping in. So, almost every city is up one, down one. Uh, just, you know, it felt to me like we had a little more inventory. Um, but then Val looked at the numbers and she was like, we don't. <laughs> yeah. Other than Redwood City. Yeah. So Redwood City, uh, that went from 44 to 50. So up about 15%. And the county went up by 5%. So a little bit. But I, I do feel like more interesting properties yeah. came on. So I think that's the difference. And that's why it yeah. felt like it that way. Some under $2 million options in San Carlos right. was yeah. um, kind of what we saw a little bit of this week. Yeah. Uh, so I wanted to take a look at what it looked like relative uh, to last year. Um, so really, la the cities were mainly the same other than San Mateo, um, both the city and the county uh, were higher than they are this year. Mm -hmm. um, San Mateo last year was at 43, this year it's 31, so it's a lot tighter inventory yeah. in San yeah. Mateo this week than it was a year ago. Uh, and Foster City had a lot more too. They were at 10 last year and uh, only at two this year. So it's yeah. uh, a different market this yeah. This spring, or it's not spring yet. I keep feeling like it is with this weather, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it felt like last year the buyers were more timid, you know, yeah. and so the inventory kind of sat a little bit longer, and um, it just wasn't getting snapped up like this. This year it is getting snapped up like crazy. Yeah. Last year there was more accumulation. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, it, it, Speaking to that point, yeah. looking at Belmont, the pending, the days on market is like seven, oh, yeah. seven days on market for the six or seven properties that are pending in yeah. Belmont right now. So things so. are just moving super fast. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so the coronavirus, we've yeah. been talking about it a lot. Everyone has been, I'm sure. Um, you know, it, it, the buyers seem undaunted by yeah. by it. Um, I had a conversation. We put in an offer this week that I'll tell you about in a minute. But, um, you know, I talked to my buyer about it. I said, you know, there's this may affect how this goes. And, um, you know, the buyer was somebody who's um, not an alarmist. <laughs> and, um, you know, and he... he was and in the told, financial world. Yeah, and in the financial world, exactly. Um, and he was undaunted by it. So, mm -hmm. um, you know... Well, and I have buyers this week saying, let's go out and see properties this weekend. So, um, yeah, they're still, still excited. Yeah. yeah. So what happened with your, um, yeah. your multiple offer situation? So it was week? in Redwood City. It was a great house, great neighborhood. House was really, really special. Yeah. Cool, cool house. So, uh, there were seven offers. Uh, I think she had 17 disclosure packets out and then she got seven offers, which is a good number, kind of mm -hmm. what you expect from that number though. Um, and uh, there there were two of us that were neck and neck um, to get it and we actually didn't get it. Uh, the other offer was an all cash offer. Mm -hmm. So, um, but it, it just, it was hot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I found it interesting that the one offer the lowest one was Atlas yeah. price with a it was property, Atlas. Condition, property condition contingency. Yeah. The agent told me about it and she was like, yeah, we're just, <laughs> we're not really talking about it. I feel badly much. saying it that way, I but know. it's like, uh, that might, that might've been a first offer. Well, and I think learn quickly that also that's hard to do in our market. Well, just get an offer, an offer at list right. too. When there's just, seven offers. Yeah. It's just not going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let's see here. Oh, we have an exciting pipeline of yeah. March is going to be really active for us with launching new listings. In April too? Yep. Yeah. It's heading yeah. into April at yeah. this point. So There's we're excited about out. that. And, um, if you are interested in knowing more about those, reach out to us. Yeah. We are, um, Happy to share. Some we can show before they go the, mm -hmm. on the MLS. Some we have to hold on to. So, yep. Yeah. yeah. But we can tell you about them. Yes. We just can't for sure. Them. We can't sell them off market. Yeah. Uh, so, 1939 Eucalyptus. Eucalyptus is famous street in San Carlos. <laughs> um, it is uh, the, the street that gets all the Halloween and, and um, holiday time decorations, that kind of stuff. Um, it's a beautiful street. It, yeah, it's a it great is. location. You're right near Burton Park, but it's still a quiet. It goes nowhere. It's a two block street, you yeah. know. Um, so it, it's just a little bit more of a challenge around the holidays because it gets so crowded. Yeah. But there was a great house. shut down. Yeah. <laughs> Every, Every weekend week. yeah. in December. Yeah. Um, 
This one is a three bedroom, two bath. It's 1,605 square feet on a 5,000 square foot lot. Uh, it's, it's just a really nice clean house with a really great flow to the backyard, I thought. Uh, it was yeah. uh, really just a pristine, perfect single family house, you know? And you, I think the square footage felt more. It felt yeah. like it was like a 2,000 square foot house. Um, and it's In fact, like, I came out of there and I was like, Big was that house because yeah. it really did. It yeah, it has the flow of like yeah. a, a newer build, yeah. like two thousand to twenty four hundred square foot yeah. house. Obviously, felt smaller in those yeah. spaces, but it still felt really good space. And it's interesting because you so often see now like a three thousand square foot house, two yeah. story house on that street, mm -hmm. and this is just a lovely. And the kitchen's modest been remodeled. rancher yeah. um, with a non-modest price, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Right. So, yeah, it's on for a, um, a million nine hundred thirty-nine, which uh, was the year it was built. Oh, also, right. And the street yeah. number. I love that <laughs> pricing. Um, how could she do anything else, right? Um, all right, this is, that one's open this weekend uh, from one to four, both days. So it's got a palm tree in the front, you know. It's just a great house. Yeah. It was fun to go see. Yeah. The next one is a condo in Redwood City. And I think um, it's at 111 Wellesley Court in the, or Crescent. Sorry, it's that circular thing right by Stacks Restaurant. You can walk over to Stacks for breakfast um, whenever you want. Um, this, So we actually have a condo coming up in this same area. Mm -hmm. uh, and great area. they're similar and different. This yeah. one... Um, so it's two bedrooms, two and a half baths, 1729 square feet. So huge square footage. It's gorgeous. It is. Like I could it's see so, myself being yeah. a retired person living there. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's a big place for when mm -hmm. you talk about two bedrooms. Um, to have 1,700 square feet of space. It just felt super cool. And it's just a glamorous space, right? Yeah. Like everything yeah. about it was just glamorous. It felt like kind of, um, I, I haven't watched Mad Men, but what I think of <laughs> as far as Mad Men in a way, like it had some updates, but it also had some stylistic stuff yeah. from, it was built in 1967. Yeah. So there's yeah. some of those elements that are there. Um, I don't know if you can see here on the picture, but they have these kind of rectangular, ooh, where am I going? Rectangular, um, uh, it's like a fence almost on your balcony and it yeah. has very much so a 1960s kind yeah. of vibe to it. Yeah. It's a cool, cool place. That is open this weekend from 1.30 to 4.30 both days. Yeah. So. Did you say the price on that already? A million ninety-eight. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, and oh. HOA dues, if I can find that for you rapidly. Are seven ninety five a month? Oh, I haven't looked at that yet. Yeah. It's a little steep. Yeah, expensive. <laughs> but you do have an elevator, um, and the common areas are nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Which isn't always the case. Yeah, well, yeah. There's no with that with that era of feeling in the common hallways, <laughs> yeah. things like that. Yeah. So, all right. Have a great leap weekend. We get an extra day this month tomorrow. So um, enjoy <laughs> enjoy your leap day and have a great weekend. Bye.